just the fact of the matter. They, yeah. the, the other players on his team are simply just incredible. They're yeah. really good at this game. So yeah, a, a player who's really good, like, you know, or great even, like Calvin. Yeah. Whoa, is gonna get beaten up here by the Link by the looks of it right from the start. So yeah, here we're gonna see straight away this down throw, no follow up, so he has to go for a tech chase instead of going for a simple re grab, which is A guaranteed and B very, very easy. Oh my god, there's a lot of trades going on so far. Yeah, but Link actually is pretty good at combo Sheik. Like, Sheik's in a very kind of tricky mid weight, uh, mid floaty you know, Ooh, allows firstly things like that to happen, giving kill setups that off of the bomb hits. Ooh. And also just the up tilt and the up air juggles we saw earlier in the game. Alright, it's at the grab, this is good. What's gonna get off this? Yes. Alright. I also oh, yeah. think if you've not if you're not used to like That was so much extra credit, I can't even believe that, but every time Six like you, he just takes a stock and then he just gets so many hits and he link actually packs with a real punch. He got a down throw into down smash, two hits, oh and it did fifty. Whoa. Got some really, really interesting Every bit of damage right now is so important. Yeah, it's so... I think he would have been happy with like 40 or 50, and he's got 120. This is huge. Yeah. He's almost a whole stock ahead, and this is Cruz. It really, really matters. Calvin really needs to find a way to close this out. Yeah. And looking at his face right now, he does look like a little bit shaken up. Ooh. A little bit. Excellent. Excellent confidence shielding there from uh, Six, holding, holding his guard. All right, I think he needs to figure out maybe a slightly better strategy with recovery as well. He's let Six get on back. Okay, there we go. That works. He's getting out the tournament yeah. right now. He now needs to uh, kind of turn the game around and play Six's game, what he was just doing. Yeah, get percent There's on. as much percent as he can because he's got a, a lot of deficit to fill up right now. Playing back right now. You know, remember, this is Cruz. He's got all the time in the world to recompose himself. Yes. He can Shino stall to his heart's content until he's feeling ready, until he's readjusted his mindset himself. Yeah. And you know, it's also, because you, you do play stock for stock, you know, uh, easily tilted player might think, oh crap, I'm never going to win this now, you know, oh, and they get frustrated. Whereas a more confident, experienced cruise player might say, okay, yeah, I'm probably not going to win this, but I'm going to take two more. You no, know, I'm not going to look only one more. I'm going to take two more. Set it as close to straight as you can, but he spoke about it right at the start of the game. Aiden maybe being a little bit of a tilter, and he is looking a little bit head shaky at the moment. A little bit frustrating, yeah. He needs to be careful he, with the aerials on shield, the attacks on shield. Yeah. He needs to basically respect the, uh, the uppy out of shield option, yes. even the shield grab. And I, both yeah, I think he's been expecting uh, Six to pitch out shield a lot of times, and every time Six is just held strong. Kept oh his guard God, up. up smash. Oh, nice oh, juggles here for Six. This is really big. Right. This is the kind of opening Germany's going to need. Link is, Link is basically at this. kill percent. He needs to, right now, he really needs to focus on getting his kill. Yeah. Oh, double dash tank oh, up air. Combo sheet with this crazy stuff. The six guy is so good. Oh, oh that could wow. have been his moment. All right. Oh. So good at back. confirming those hits off of the really projectiles is. into a strong hit. And up B here that sends him cross stage. Won't quite kill, I don't think. Yes. All right, there's an edge guard situation here for sure. Yes. That should be. Yep, yeah, that's a setup. He knows about that. Picks it up and three stocks. Three stocks, Calvin, to start off this crew battle. Very Make Germany in a commanding position. And this is an important lead for them. Let's oh, be yes. honest. Again, USA, the favorites in this tournament, yeah. you want to take every little opportunity you get yeah. to stay ahead and be ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So. And Six feels like someone's, and we saw it from when he lost the first stock, he then held on so tight to when he was at home set. And I think, he really values his stocks, you know what I mean? He really, really tries to make the most of them. So even if they send in someone really, really good right now, someone who's got a great match against him, maybe I think S2J, uh, uh, Phil, uh, I can still see him it looks like doing good, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Taking a couple, taking maybe even two with the three that he's got. No, it's Phil. So yeah, the Fox coming in here. Do you reckon there's some, maybe he's, you know, feels particularly confident in the matchup, or maybe he's just simply, they think this is the best use of him. There's obviously a couple of peaches on the German side, so maybe they're saying, uh, saving S2J for them. Yeah, probably. I think S2J might also be their anchor in general. Okay, yeah. I think that's a good chance. Yeah. I think Phil's a pretty safe bet to go in. Yeah. He's a really good fielder pick, I think. Yeah. And, he, uh, and again, at the end of the day, like, Fox is kind of hard to counter pick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, they have Reaper FD. There is that. Which is pretty, pretty scary, actually. That can make this a good time to get the Fox out, in fact, because, you know, realistically, Phil's going to end up with less than three, maybe two, two or one here at the end. Uh, and that means you're kind of not that vulnerable to getting counterpicked, because if they use the Reaper on FD, yeah. just to take two off a of fill, two you off know, fill. it's, it's not, not as valued. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I was going to say, yeah, this is, I like this pick going into this. Yeah, I do. 
for sure. So what do you think he's going to be looking for specifically against Lee? So I think he's going to be looking. I don't, I don't know the way that Phil's going to play this because there's a lot of different ways that you can approach the matchup. The run and gun obviously can be quite strong and just dash dance can be whilst mixing in the lasers. Very frustrating. Uh, in terms of the punish game, I think Fox definitely comes up on top of this matchup. Yeah. Uh, pretty much every time he gets a hit, he can get a big follow-up. Whereas Link needs to have a few more things fall into place in order to get those longer combos. Get a few reads here and there as well. Yeah, yeah they are possible. You know, you, I'm sure we will see Six do some amazing combos in this game, because he always does. But isn't quite as free, isn't quite as simple, isn't quite as consistent and reliable as Fox as combos Fox is are. In the matchup, yeah. um, so with that said, and then Fox has obviously got the mobility in the middle ground. Six going to have to really... Uh, put something together in order to beat Phil here. But you know, he uh, he has been shown to be incredibly good at building up the low percent, which can be like, you know, just get 60% on one combo with a few hits. And that can get him to, to kind of a sense where Fox will get knocked off stage easily and then the edge guard from kind of kills that he can pick up. So straight oh, in here from Phil, a lot of aggression. Yeah, Seems really. to be the way that he's approaching this. Whoa, all over him right now. Vulnerable to the grab though, and this is six opportunity. What's he got here? Big drop, nothing, nothing game. Oh, Whoa, gosh, okay. Man. Phil knows, Phil like, knows. Phil nods. Phil He's like, yeah, knows. okay. I, I played things, I played things like this before. Right. Oh. So Still this is a big six. combo from six, but. I've seen him go for a lot of basically. He looks for knockdowns a lot. He tries to cap five on them. Yeah. With either. Yeah, that was simply a case of Smash the Eye out of that uh, drill from Fox and getting the RB off straight away. Very good awareness there. And, uh, you know, simply Smash the Eye. Got some big chance for Six in the ground here. Germany known as being one of the other louder regions. Yeah, in exactly. Europe. And, in fact, I think Six has just become a bit of a fan favorite for all kinds of Europeans because I think so. he plays with so much style and he's honestly he's just, just really, really sick. entertaining to yeah. watch. Yeah. It's not often you get that great mix of entertaining to watch and also incredibly good. You know, just technically and in every other way. Whoa! Big stuff from Six. He's got it. Oh! Oh no! He messed up with the boomerang. The bomb hit the boomerang. But yeah, he's got a really intense game face on. You know, he looks like he's ready to kill you. And you know, he he's done an incredible job. He started one stop down, so you know, he's it's going even he's with going Phil. Even with Phil potentially one. able to. Yeah. And he's already taken four stocks. You know, like everything now is just extra for him. Did you see the boomerang tricks? I actually did not. I didn't look at the, the stalling. Oh, right into an up man. Oof, goes straight for the stage, but Phil comes in with a counter attack. Gets some shine combos here. 28%, decent, but. Catch him jump out. Wow. Catch him grab there. That's gonna kill as well. Yeah, yeah then that's the guaranteed setup down throwing into RP. Unacceptable. Oh. Oh, a little bit of drop there from Phil. Definitely wanted more from that shine. Both players kind of just playing the crouch battle. Yeah, wow. Zoning him on shield with four smashes there. That's some confidence and also some good knowledge of the spacing. Ooh. Yeah, sneaks, try to sneak Phil's the ledge kind of again. Just, yeah, retreats. Quite content to not really fight on the ledge. Yeah, no, Phil definitely wants to take a second stock with two socks to rhythm to the next battle. Yeah, really but six cool. wants to say, no, thank you, Phil. I'm going to take seven here today. Bomb hits both six. Oh Looks like he comes out on top right of this one. Holds the bomb. I might see him hold it here to build defensive door. Oh, up throw. Ah, uh, the yeah. up air closes it out. I think both players are kind of okay with that. Yeah. It's not ideal. Yeah. For you know, it's, it's not. It's but it's it's kind of what I think both people could kind of expected. Yeah. Neither of them were disappointed. Six did It's his like job. the bare minimum yeah. for both of them. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean. German Zam was six, so he did an excellent showing in the first match, and then that's just extra and extra. also decent showing. Exactly. Phil, he hasn't like come in and spanked anyone, but he's also in a position where it's hard to counter pick him. He's probably gonna put in some more work in the next game. He's yeah. made steps towards, you know, kind of closing the gap as well. Yeah. yeah. And he's still in this. Yeah. He's still got work to do. Exactly. It's one of those things where you can't just really just say you can't just let your last guy and say, Yeah, just take seven stocks. Like oh. you have to just say, Okay, with three stocks down, we're gonna try and take this guy's going to take five of this four. This guy's going to take five of this four. This guy's going to take five of this four, you know? Find those good counter picks and just get the marginal catch up, bits of catch up right, until yeah. you're actually able to address the problem fully. That's the thing. Like with Cruz, it's 
you have to look for those kind of incremental growths as well, because otherwise it gets exponentially worse and you kind of like don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because the longer it goes on, the, where there is that kind of stock deficit, Oof. if you're not closing that, that gets yeah. that's more and more pressure on the subsequent players coming in. Yeah. And it's hard. Uh, sitting down on stage right now, it looks like Doimling, if I'm not mistaken, okay. it's from the back of his head. So ice climbers, uh, ice climbers coming in, yeah. I mean, that can go either one of two ways usually in this kind of. It can be pretty polar. Oh well, it can be. It can be polarizing. I think everyone on the everyone on Team USA is probably good against ice climbers actually. So it's kind of a tricky spot. He's never going to get an amazing counter pick. So I think if he gets in. And if you manage to take two here, then he's in a great spot. I mean, honestly. this is kind of what we thought might happen, right? Yeah. The ice climbers have to count. Yeah. Um, They're only going to claim two off it, but if he he might be able to take two clean. Two clean is pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty good risk. Like, if you get those two early grabs, that's it. That's amazing. Yeah. You're in a great position. Yeah, yeah, you're back to four stocks ahead, right? No, you're not even back to. You're now at a four stocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. You were three ahead. Now, now yeah, you're back exactly, to two, exactly. but you catch up to that's four. That's huge. Yeah, exactly. So, Big on the other hand, in. if Phil's able to yeah. efficiently kill Nana throughout, Keep yeah. his percent low. I think it's going to be sure. quite tricky. And one of the uh, factors of the USA, they literally only have five American players in this tournament. They have to use those five. Yeah. They don't have anyone they can tag in, any Peaches or any Samuses no. to counter the Ice Climbers. It's a really, They're stuck with what they got. Yeah, it's a really, really limited pool that they can pick with, you know, yeah. as well. So, so neutral star here. Oh, confident star from Dominic because it was a full hop. Phil looks pretty confident in this matchup. Already used. Oh, oh, oh as grab, I say though. that. Oh, Smash oh. goes out. Oh, a little desync there, catches him with the popo, but Nana's off stage. No jump, right, but no, 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 does no. manage to get the potential edge guard situation on Fox. No. So Phil's made it back to edge, or oh, managed to make it back to stage as well, and I guess a combo. This is what Dominic wanted to avoid. That should be, yeah, that's one stop. Okay, yeah, so hasn't worked out. <laughs> Phil looking now, he's yeah, loving Phil it, yeah. Loving yeah, you said that Ice Climbers in against me. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Whoa. I mean, Bash their region has thing. like some solid ice climbers players, actually. Yeah, for sure. Get this kid boogie. Nintendo as well. Jumps in mind, yeah. So there is Doimling. Oh, oh Phil wants this kill on Nana. Oh, it doesn't manage to find it, but he feels cold. Oh, the pressure on. Drill. So scary. Phil is playing so confidently, but you still know at any moment it might just shatter and he might end up getting the grab, and that's going to be his life. Whoa, hammer hitbox on that neutral B there. Not something we see very often. Wait. Wow. He prioritizes getting Sopo off the stage. I kind of like that. Yeah, he finds the and right that, moment to oh, hit Sopo. No Excellent. But he's, he, it should yeah. be. Uh, yeah. Child's play for him. In theory. Whoa, oh, no, a little scary bit scary Edge situation. Right. Oh, man, is Dominic going to be able to do this? This is a big percentage. This is for so him. big. Can he get the edge guard? Yes, oh! Oh! Pop off. I respect that so much. He held on the edge, and that took so much guts that to know that. That took a lot of guts. So much guts. That's a read and a half. Yeah, he was at. So many other people would have got off the ledge there, trying to do an F smash or something, but he's just like, no, I'm covering this option. And uh, it's really good to see. And it, it paid off for him. You know, it paid yeah, off. It paid off. Things. Like sometimes reads like you have to make reads like that because yeah. they just pay off in dividends, and that kind of carries over. Yeah. We've said this before. Leads are so important. Yeah. Players. And he's in that spot where he, ha he had an opening, right? If it resets the neutral, what's the chance that Yamper takes that stock without dying? You know, he's Sopo 100. Like, you like you max out on this opening you have and you yeah. go for it. And he does it. Okay, and the he ice loses one stock takes two. Okay, yeah, chillin's in, chillin's in. This is, again, not too surprising. Yeah, no. Definitely a sensible pick. I think Germany must have anticipated this as well, so I feel like Doimling's probably feeling re as comfortable as he can do, you know? Neutral start, as always, in the crew battle, waiting for the timer. Yeah, I think someone's going to call him in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the crowd got on it. Chant them in. Whoa. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh, no. Oh, this is looking rough this for Team USA right now. This is looking real grim right now. Though, Tournament favorites or not, they are down. And... Yeah. Wow, <laughs> Chilin literally just waits and up till so, so confident. Honestly, yeah, he chilling killed himself right at the start, but like since then he literally just destroyed Doimling. Yeah. Like he took 27%, killed his Nana really efficiently. Look like super confident. And they just waited up till it is oh, Nana there. Eye? Yeah. That is big. I mean, if he survives oh, here, that's a good is your chance. Yes, gets the down air. Randall. Oh, 
Randall definitely came into play there. Brought him off the ledge involuntarily. Excellent little play there from Chillin. Realizes he doesn't reach up for up air. So he just lands on the ground and then trades with the up tilt. Because there's no downward hitbox that Ice Crocs have that can beat that. You know, he just be takes a hit, bounces it, and that up tilt keeps him controlled. They're stuck in the air. There's still nothing they can do. There you go. Chillin's looking super clean. Yeah, he is. He is. Germany, get me thinking who they're going to send in. Maybe this is the time for that Reaper FD that we spoke about. Probably, yeah. Oh, this Ooh, could be there's Nana that's, gone. That's one. Can he get the second? <laughs> Looking so confident here. Doimling looks yeah. like he's trying to keep his composure, but... It's kind of... Chillin's kind of just running all over him. Yeah. Chillin, honestly, incredibly strong in this matchup. Like, we obviously knew he was good, but... Yeah. He's really giving him the work right now. Yeah. yeah oh. He was literally so not worried. You see that little gesture he did? Kind of just like brushes himself off. It was off nothing. It was nothing. Whatever, yeah. All right. America needed that. Like people, people like behind him. You see, Phil is like trying to hype him up. And he's like, "There's nothing. Yeah, There's literally. Yeah. I just, I don't even try. You know." Do you know how many what years this man's played with the Chudat? Yeah, exactly. Oh man, that, that is. Was, yeah. yeah, it's just like brushing his teeth. Like you just. It's this routine. Is, yeah, this is routine for him. Yeah, nothing, nothing special. He's like, "Yeah, what? Well, yeah. Damn." Germany discussing. Quite heatedly by the looks of it, Reaper, up at the front of the discussions. They also have some Peach players. They might want to work in. This is true. The question is. Yeah, do you think they'd keep Reaper maybe for Johnny? I don't think that that's really a strong counterpick for them. It's not, not strong a strong enough. counterpick, but who would you send in anyway? Though? Maybe one of the Sheiks, Usleon. Usleon, I guess. Blaze, I don't know. Blaze against Johnny's going to be bad. Blaze though. against Johnny's bad. I was going to say, yeah. maybe put Blaze in here, and, and then maybe you have Reaper as an option for Johnny. But yeah. Um, but I feel like even though, yeah, you do want Reaper against Johnny, like, you really want Reaper to just go in and freestyle for chilling. Like, that's going to be so strong. Because, yeah. like... Well, I mean... I'm if, if Reaper like three stock chilling, he can easily take seven, and they're literally back in it. True. Um, if. But yeah, if. But yeah, I don't know. I just think from the position they're in, they need to take some kind of low percentage chances because like you can't win by can't taking the safe play and like sending in saving I was say someone, maybe saving Blaze, someone. Yeah. FD chain grabs. It's one option. Makes that at least like the game a little bit more linear. Possible. Possible. It's possible. Because if you're trading stocks, that's kind of like... I just think when they're in down in this position, they need to kind of take a bit of a higher risk. So you avenue. think you think you want to take the higher risk yeah, most think. of the time? Because, like, yeah, it might not work all the time, but most of the time you probably aren't going to win a crew battle from three stocks down anyway. Yeah. So it's like you take not the ones that make you only lose by one or two stocks, but the ones that sometimes you'll just lose by five stocks, but sometimes you'll actually be able to win. Yeah, you'll just blow uh, them away, yeah. right? Yeah. So I can see this trap, but they are, they're quite heatedly discussing it right now. They're, the whole group of them huddled up on the stage. So just to recap, USA obviously only got that five people. We've seen uh, Calvin, he was on the first. Then we saw Phil. Phil. And then now we've got Chillin' Dude. Now we've got Chillin' Dude. And they've got Homemade Waffles. Yeah, sitting in the back. And then we've got SJ sitting in the back. Somehow five Somehow Americans in the venue managed to chant USA. The tournament organizers appropriately booing the yeah. USA chance. This is Europe, guys. This is Europe. Yeah, they're going to get some of it back now. They're going to hear some of these German chanting. And it's like, well, they're chanting Austria, actually, but in German. Because whilst we are okay. not as big in uh, as maybe the scenes in America, we are at least twice as big. It now. looks like it's Slim Shady. Whoa, OK. OK. Dark on FD, do you think? OK. He's one of I can see players. that. I can see that for sure. He's one of their stronger players. It could, yeah, it's, it looks like it's FT. FT is right. definitely the big with some video, yeah, so. Okay. So I guess they're going to save Reaper for the end. Yeah, yeah. And Because uh, Reaper might be a good pick against Waffles as well. Okay. He's also. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a good point. Maybe they're both space animals. They're, they're both, both space animals. Grabs. There's no reason to necessarily. I mean, like, he's their trump card. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to, like, put it in too soon. I mean, and then uh, if, if, if Reaper's the trump card, then Slim Shady's the wild card, I'd say. You know, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, like, definitely yeah, more of the unknown factor and also... But the thing about old school players like Chillin is they tend to have a lot of matchup experience. Yes, they really Even do. in matchups like this. So yeah. I, I wonder if he'll actually get thrown off by, you know, much of the same way that I don't think Phil was really thrown by six. No, he was, yeah, he was super, like, he obviously yeah. didn't destroy him, but he Look was definitely... Look how confident Chillin is just standing yeah. there. He's like... Yeah, he's I will waiting. just up to you. Yeah. I understand how to play fundamentals long... Found about these, the cloud. He's rather. not trying anything too fancy. He's keeping it super simple, and it's just gonna work. I, just like that, 12% on him, and takes the first stop. Yeah, that's big. 
I mean... This is kind of what I was wondering. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I spoke before the game in favor of those high risk, high reward, but potentially embarrassing <laughs> choices. You know, so I don't want to, I don't want to Talk badly about this pick because you know time. it maybe is something that needs to go, but it hasn't been a great show for Slim Shady. Slim just hasn't seemed to find his. He can't find his way in. Yeah. He's not really had an answer to you know. Chillin's kind of. Oh wrong. no, that's gonna hurt. This is the kind of position as well where it's like, oh. you know, he's gonna just be feeling worse and worse. And he, he he's Slim Shady's always been about a bit. He's got some pretty good results, but he doesn't have that kind of veteran status. No. That some of the other players do, and you know, people like Chillin most certainly do. Chillin's been around the block in then some. Yeah. He's, he's got years. Got that X point, cancel up uh, out of shield there. Sure. Slim Shady, nice to see. But Chillin really is racking on the damage. Slim Shady's gonna be hard pressed to take more than one here, honestly. Oh God, that was such a nice up tilt. Just waits. Wow. Literally just. Wow. Completely has this one locked down. And this is a terrifying swing. This, yeah, oh my lord. The favor of like, the yes. And oh then it's like, god. yeah. The Germany needed this lead because they had slightly lower quality players left. And now they've just lost the lead. And now they have still have slightly lower quality players left. And it's like, this is a really, really Grimella. Yeah. This is a pretty Grimella. Slim Shady, you know, trading a little bit, but Chin obviously trying to play to keep yeah. the stock. Where's he going to go? High. Oh, sneaks past the cape. Oh, no obviously. shadow shield. But that's oh. it. Just grabs the ledge. You cover everything on reaction, and that is it. So confident there from oh Chilin. So God. confident. And he just pretty much said goodnight, Germany. <laughs> see you in the, lo see ya. See you in the losers bracket. Chilin's MVP so far. Yeah. He's got happy. He just gets his beer as a yeah. deep, Ooh, deep swig. I like that. Off. I like that. And yeah. Now you have to bring in Reaper. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no choice now, it. really. Germany's got to hedge all their bets on Reaper. Wow, and Reaper getting the guns out for the ground. Oh, yeah. Getting those out of the player camp. But Chilin looks so unafraid. He's been around, he, he's been here before. He's, he's fought some red marks in his time. <laughs> yeah, he has, he most yeah, certainly he has. has. He definitely has. Again, I'm almost 100% certain FT will be the counter. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty hard to pass up on that, but I could honestly see with the kind of momentum, the momentum carries across players in the crew battle. Like when you just see a boy get bodied like that, I can imagine Reaper being a bit, a bit shaky. It's really interesting, this kind of momentum that Chillin has as well. It's not one of those, I'm going to overwhelm you momentum. It's kind of a, you can't get in, you can't beat yeah. this. Yeah. Come at me. I'm I literally just do this. This, this is all what I have to do. do. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, people haven't found an answer through it. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's formidable. Yeah, I, I think uh, patience and composure has been a bit, big element of that. I think the USA team has had that in a lot more supply than the German team have, uh, especially amongst some of the less experienced German players we've seen so far. You also, the other thing as well, like, Chillin's been playing crew battles again for a long time. Yeah. So he's got, like, he's not going to be thrown like some, yeah. you know, fresher players might be about you know, the pressure, having a team on your back. Yeah. He's used to this. I like the kind of confidence that Chin is playing. It's not like massive ego, oh, I'm so the best, screaming and shouting about how good you are. It's just he very just confidently headed. knows he's been here so long. Oh. He's not concerned. He's just like, I'm going to do my job and I'm going to do well. He just looks so relaxed. Yeah, exactly. This is another day for him. Yeah. And like that, that relaxed confidence can be more menacing when you have to go and sit down next to it than someone you know, who gives you evils is obviously trying to make a power and play. He's just like, ah. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just, just like, no. He's big chilling, dude. Yeah, exactly. He's literally just he's big chilling. literally just chilling. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Some other USA members kind of have a little pop-off oh. dance on stage. Maybe they're celebrating USA's premature victory. Um, that's the thing. USA's got some trash talkers on their squad. You seen that video with uh, homemade waffles against Hunger Dogs at Apex? Yes, that yeah. is cool. Legendary trash talk. Yeah, it's good. They're good. All right. So we're going to get into it as soon as these guys' force is off, so I have to go through this. So realistically, how many stocks does Reaper need to take through for Germany to have a chance to win? He needs to take seven. He needs to take seven. At least So seven. from Chil after playing Chillin, how many does he need to have left, do you think? So he needs to force dog Chillin and not lose one? If he loses one, do you think it'll be all right? I think he can only lose one. Yeah. One is the bare, like, if he's the losing max, one, yeah. yeah. And then he needs to play amazingly versus Johnny and or Waffles. Yeah. That's basically it. No, yeah, if they do save Johnny Fanker and they end up sending Waffles in, 
this that could you know add up to uh, some big math combos. Waffles getting shaken, maybe bringing it down to the last players, but it's a tall order. Oh, sneaks in there. I thought he was done for sure. But Chillin still managed to stay on top of him. Oh, nice little ledge like Ashmash there. Big combo here from Reaper. 100%. Can he get an edge guard though? Send him off stage? Anything like it? No. Chillin dude does escape pretty much scot free. You get the tech chase? Most of the shine. Oh, oh! So smart there from Reaper. So smart. Gets the edge here. As your boy Lorenzo would say, sensible. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely sensible. I really like this. He, he needs to kind of frustrate Chillin, wind him up. And like, I want to see, get, oh, oh, not that, but. Not that. Getting like the 20% there, if he then came on stage, made a play, you know, might have been worth it. We're seeing a lot of high approaches from Chillin. Yeah. Oh, oh confident shine. play there. Oh, Shine sends Reaper inwards though. Chillin feels like he's been sticking to Reaper for quite a lot. Yeah. Obviously, we've had a few of these good punishes, but in the neutral game, he does feel a little bit stuck. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. This is it. exactly what Germany wants. Maybe it's on, maybe yeah. it's on, you never know. Chillin dude wants to say no, but... Well, I'll throw back air, rinses and repeats the situation. Puts Reaper off the stage and forces an edge guard. Great recovery, though. Oh, down smash there. Unconventional, but it works out. Can he finish oh, off this? Yep. Okay. okay. But Chillin managed to take two already Reaper pretty decent. Reaper really doesn't want to get... He basically doesn't get cheesed. Yeah. Or grabbed, I was going to say. Oh, no, the reset gets out of it. Oh, Ooh. He does not want to be yeah, off Yeah, this might be another one for him, honestly. That being said, Chillin looks a little bit shaky at the edge. She's lost a couple of stocks owing to Miss Eric there. Yeah, certainly. Just wait. Reaper needs to, like, each of these stray hits he's got, he's need to, they'd have needed to have been combos, you know. Some of them have been just not quite enough. Both players look a little bit shaky here. Nerves probably getting to both of them. A lot's on the line. Yeah, and that's three now that Reaper's lost. Meanwhile, Chillin's taking so many stocks. Yeah, Chillin's just going. Chillin is just. Oof. Like, Germany stocks are in a bucket, and Chillin just punched a hole in the bottom of that bucket. Like, they are just pouring out all over the floor. Oh, oh no. Nice little oh, combos no. here from Chillin. He's so all oh, over him, you know? No. Reaper managed to get his jump back, but the back, he catches him. Oh. Doesn't get the shine off. Chili gets up throw, him. back air, happy to send his mouth off stage. Not play about with the SDI yeah. possibility. Oh, we'd be a save maybe with any tippers. It should be and Chili make it back, no, not yep. in this. Right. And, and, oh, we can manage to with on. one stock. Yeah, clinging on, clinging on for life. Well, Waffles should go in to clean this up. Yeah. This is, yeah, yeah, no. If Reaper had like three, I could, I could understand I putting SDJ yeah. in. Yeah. But with the one, one. just send it Waffles. Then you get SDJ guaranteed to only need to take two or three on his counter pick. You know, he's going to do that every single time. I think it's also a little bit easier to play, like, kind of safer with Falco against the one stock of the Marth yeah, rather than, like, the Falcon. I don't know. You could, I mean, you could kind of wall him out a little bit better. You don't have to commit so hard. I imagine if we see that, we'll probably see a Dream Man pick then. So definitely, you know, prevents Marth getting those ridiculous Timber hits maybe on the platform that could end your no, life. Yoshi quickly. story. Whoa, bold. He's got to scrap with him. Right, yeah, he is. That is. Perhaps a little bit more risky than I would have gone for, but you know, he knows his own Falco. Yeah. Man, you know, I mean, if he thinks he's best on this stage, if they think it's going to work out best for them, then they're all in their right minds to do it. And there are legitimate reasons, I'm sure. So the way I, things that I've seen Waffles do a lot in this matchup, and by that yeah. I mean against me, uh, is he does a lot of um, pressure and timing mix-ups. So he's very aggro and in your face anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't overly surprise me that this is the, you know, this is the pig, this is the stage. Um, Yep, yeah. I, I, I respect I want to see how Reaper deals with it, please. I think if Reaper wants to make a mark, he needs to like, just like the first knockdown of the game to kill him. Yeah. And if you if you manage to do that, then it's like they respawn and they're like, oh crap, you know, like. So that's the kind of thing he's going to be looking for. But obviously Waffles probably going to try and keep his composure, stay in the middle, keep it safe. Just close out, losing as few stops as possible, preferably none. Yeah. I like it, I like it. Respect it. So, kind of probably gonna have the uh, crowd chant us in again. Yeah. Reaper mixing up the stage that he has these on. Okay, people, have, yeah, people, people are in the crowd the, really yeah. suck at this, but this they've, they've gone they've on. They've just it. gone in, alright. Yeah. 
So yeah. Reaper's just taking on the platforms. He doesn't know. Yeah, he doesn't want to engage with the laser on the same level. And he also realizes that Waffles is staying pretty much across stage, trying to avoid exactly that, the runoff platform fair. Oh, confident, I like that. Immediate land into the grab, but it doesn't quite work out. Oh, Ooh, down smash cover two sides. Oh, oh shield poke there for Waffles. They have a godsend. Wow, confident play around the shield. Doesn't need to keep swinging at the shield. Just knows he's hit it once. He's asked a question for this Marth. See if the Marth can answer it. And obviously appreciating that the Marth is the one on the back foot in that situation. Both players still playing so tensitive. This is an important start for both yeah. And I, I like it with one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, I like Waffles seeing that Waffles there. Waffles shuts up the crowd's force on champ. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Completely. Sorry, you were saying. No, yeah, it's, I like that he he has stocks to play with, kind of, you know. Yeah. I don't want to I don't want to smack talk Blades or Uzi or whoever's going to come in from Germany, but realistically, like, they're poised to win this, you know. Definitely. So he could have played silly. He could have played aggro in his face, but he just said, no, you know, I'm oh. not even going to take any chances. I'm just going to do me. I'm going to play safe, and then I'm going to take a stock without losing any. Is that so we got, Uzi this is like Uzi on. Yeah. That's the wrong All right. A Sheik? Sheik, yeah. Maybe again, them. thinking about. Do you think they were thinking ahead of the Johnny counter pick as well in the future? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. I could see them, yeah, using the Uzi off of Johnny, yeah. As like a general plan. Really, it's, it's kind of a shame because the, like, the crux of this was that Slim Shady pick just not working out at all. It, yeah, it was a little unfortunate. But. It's so obviously like going to feel bad about battles, that, but. Yeah. You know, this is winners' finals, so if Germany don't win this, they can they still, still perhaps make it back through the losing side. Maybe they can take, you know, the information that they learned from it. You know. But we'll see. They're not quite out yet. <laughs> Heavily favored though the U.S. may be in this. And Uzio gets to grab right off the back. He needs to convert, but oh, it doesn't play together. Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay, really? Bob's just come in with a shine, shine, shine. Now that he's got four stocks against four, he is showing a lot more yeah, willingness to approach to, you know, to kind of just fight into his opponent's face. Yes, yeah, certainly. Now he's got this warning position on, he's got the center of the stage. He should be feeling confident here. I, I imagine as well that he's going to be looking to, you know, take his home himself, you know. See if he can finish this without Johnny, because he's 4 to 4. He wants to be the Sheik, you know. So, that's the kind of goal he's going to be working towards, and that's the kind of goal you want to do. You want to hold on to every stock, however far ahead you are. Doesn't repeat? Yeah. Yep, charge, charge F smash there. Nothing was going to kill there, so I respect going for a big damage. Push the Sheik back to the other side. If you're going to do like, the same edge guard, like the rinse and repeat edge guard, you might as well get that damage. And because of it, you know, he was able to get a exactly, convert. Yeah, he Ooh. All right, smash about some misclick there, but exactly works out for him. Oh, nice power shield. Uh, it's led to the sequence. What's he gonna get? Ooh. That was a pretty tasty bit of neutral there. They like right on top of him, got the power shield, kept moving and followed the roll, but then just got the one grab and it was you know, a couple percent, 15 percent maybe. It's just really not enough. But it's not enough, you know, if you're just playing singles against waffles, like let alone with this uh, extra crew deficit to make up. What do you think Uzio needs to do here in order to kind of really find his footing in this? All right, well, Ooh. I've seen him drop a lot of things as well, though. He's like barely whiffing, you know, the forward I think, I think he needs to calm down and have a breathe. I think, Just yeah. Just like realize, maybe. okay, you know, me trying harder, you know, me putting more of it into it is not going to help me win this game, you know. Oh, oh my God, unfortunate uh, phantom there. No. Oh. oh, no. And now this thought's going to start running through his head. There's no way, you know, it's the kind of thing he's going to be thinking. He's not going to want to think, but those doubts are going to be there. It's going to be very, very tricky for him. Yeah, he's starting to look a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. This Waffle's he's still just, just kind of doing his plan, you know? Yeah, he's Waffle's just, to he's just sticking to his guns. Yes, quite literally. Yeah. Alright, nice dash tag. Tag, but yeah. yeah. I think I think Waffles knows that he's gonna win this, you know what I mean? I'm sure I he feels he's, it. He's kinda got yeah, he's reached the point where he's like, right, I can kinda just uh, Nice, gets back on stage. There's a lot yeah, there's a lot of weight off his back right now. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's still on the way. Yeah, look at that, look at that smile from Waffles there. So good to see. Yeah, that's right. fair, so he kicks off. Who's the on? This is it. Six stocks to go. Oh dear. Still plays it, you know. That's you've got to respect at least. Trying to finish his in there, you know. Yeah. 
If he's, not, he's honestly giving it every his all. Yeah. And even if you know you can't win, just play to do as respectfully as possible. You know? No, I really respect that. Uh, it's hard, you know, there's all, so much pressure. Ooh, right. yeah. And he's, you know, all things is, he's looking a lot better this stock. Like, he's, yeah. he's being a little bit more patient. He didn't completely fall to pieces after he started no, going down. Oh, but this anyway. is, so, good credit to him there. Alright, he needs to kill off his grab, essentially. Doesn't get it. Oh, okay. That might be. Yeah, honestly, the take chasing definitely a big factor in the kind of way this matchup. I mean, he's gotten several grabs and he's just yeah. basically only got one or two, one stock four. Yeah, I honestly say his average follow up has been like probably less than 20%, and that is just. Yeah, I mean, openings for kill is so huge in melee. Yeah. I mean, this is why. Oh, yeah. Waffles died in a little bit, loses it. Usion, what's he going to go for? Camp near the edge, see if he can bait him again. Most of those needles. Oh, no, the slow Waffles is playing with the fire here a little bit, but he's feeling confident. He's not worried about getting should be one final simple edge, right? Yeah. Confidently handled by, by Waffles, leaving S2J unused in the back.